few months earlier, I was playing varsity sports. I was 170 pounds. I was 6'2". At the time that I stepped into this police officer's car, I weighed 90 pounds. I looked like a skeleton. He pulled the visor down in front of me and let me look at myself, and I very literally could not see my eyeballs due to the shadows. I had been homeless for a couple of months. I hadn't remembered the last time that I had showered. It had been around 14 days since I had slept. It was just a constant cycle of waking up and getting high and getting drunk and going home and then doing the same thing every day. All my friendships revolved around getting high or getting drunk. I had been targeted as one of the kids who other people shouldn't hang out with. Home was pretty awful. I fought with my mom all the time. I almost threw her down a flight of stairs one time. and So I wasn't really quite sure what was happening. And then when I figured out what was happening, I tried to, I put a GPS on his car that I had set up on my phone and it would text me when he went into certain neighborhoods. Um, I checked his phone messages and I was trying to control something that I really couldn't control. So I was driving myself crazy. Um, and I was scared. I was really scared because I didn't know how, how how to handle what was happening with my son. And I just remember like how dark it was, like how how depressed I was and how hopeless I felt. My biggest fear was always that she was gonna die, that I was gonna find her dead. Um, I was alone all of the time. I felt trapped. I um, I had nothing. I had no one. And I felt like I'd lost myself, and all I had was the drugs and alcohol, and then there at the end when they stopped working, it was, I just felt like I was nothing. If I was to paint a picture for you of what that was like for me is, I learned how to ball up my fists and pick my shoulders up around my ears and walk through life really angry. And as a result of that, hatred was brewing on the inside of me. And it was just pain, just overwhelming pain. The first time that I used, my shoulders came down, my fists let down, and I think I even laughed a little bit. I wanted to chase that feeling at all costs. So I first heard of Archway before it was actually Archway, when it was just an idea spawned by a couple of parents from a teenage drug recovery program we sponsored here at Palmer in the fall of 2001. The pain of relapse, the cycle, the, um, the void of uh, education in the, in the mix, uh, that inspired me and others to try to do something about it. Knowing in, the, in our community, our fourth largest city in the, in the country, that there really was no there was no alternative for these kids and that, that conventional treatment, conventional, the availability of conventional treatment means was not enough and that there was clearly a need and a demand in our community for something more. I just felt so supported. It was completely different from anything I've ever felt um, out of school. I felt supported like I knew that they were here for me and um, and that they cared about me. And Not only were I was with all these people who supported me and all these peers who understood me, but I was with these staff that really, really, really wanted to give me the unique, very unique attention and the very unique support that not only I needed, but every other individual kid needed. I would say archery was different than most places I had ever been before, period, much less a high school. That um, There was a genuine care about who I was. There was a genuine care about where I was headed and what kind of person I was going to be. I would come to school and people wanted to know what I did on the weekend or how my life was going or what my recovery looked like. And if I was having challenges, I had many people who had been through the similar challenges and were willing to reach out their hand and say, well, let me help you. I was extremely grateful that there was a place for him where he began to like school. He never in his whole life liked school. And so it was a burden lifted. Well, for me, Archway was a huge relief because I knew uh, that Hale couldn't stay sober at the school he was at. It was a big high school. The cool thing um, about Archway for me was that everyone here wanted to be sober. Everyone was enthusiastic about recovery. 
Uh, this experience has helped, has helped in, in with my life too because uh, now I see life different, a different way. Now I, I have more compassion, I have more love. And before it was like, I, I didn't have that. So now I have peace, I have serenity. He, he worries about whether he's being rigorously honest about things. He worries about um, how he's affecting the life of other people. Those are things that he would have never even considered in the past. We love each other, we respect each other, we're honest with each other, we're kind to each other, we support each other, um, we pray together, um, and he's turning out to be an awesome man. Thanks to Archway and to recovery and to the sponsorships that I've had moving through my life, and I get told very regularly that I want to be like you, or I, man, you're such an amazing individual, or I trust you and I don't trust other people, or you're like family. You know, they, they advocate recovery while at the same time advocating people getting their diplomas. And I think that without the combination of my APG and Archway, I never would have graduated. I don't think that having just one or the other would have worked for me. Um, and by going to Archway and getting my diploma, I realized what I was capable of. And um, school started to excite me more and more and I realized that I could do more and more things. Um, and that I could go anywhere I wanted, basically. I thought, I mean, I saw it. The day that I saw Melissa with the with the cap and the gown, and it's, I couldn't believe it. It was like, wow. It's not lost on me um, the multiplier effect that Archway has, and by that I mean that we can graduate 25 kids, and we can say we've helped 25 kids. But the multiplier effect is most of those kids have two parents. Uh, a lot of those kids have siblings, uh, they have other relatives, they have friends, all of whom have been uh, involved in this process in the life of this child. Um, I'm in a healthy relationship with someone who loves me and who I love. I have a job that I'm absolutely passionately crazy about and I look forward to waking up and going to work every day. I'm so grateful that it's been around and been doing this for kids for 10 years. No one else gets this experience. This doesn't happen, I mean you may have one good teacher is the story like man I had that one great teacher that taught science in my ninth grade year but this is I had that really great school that I got the opportunity to go to that was just amazing and life-changing that put me on a completely different foundation than I could have ever dreamed for I would say um, it was the best decision I ever made and it was the most fun I've ever had in my entire life when I came to Archway every day I graduated from Archway in May 2012, and I have three years and three months sober. I'm 24 years old today. If I stay sober to the end of this month, I will have eight years sober. I have been sober since November 25th, 2008. I'm 19 years old. I have three years and 11 months sober, and I completed Archway in 2011.